Standing by, Jilly. Do you want to run? Uh, do you want to run titles? So we can get the show on the road. Morning folks, Big Jet TV, it's the weekend show. It is Saturday, uh, it is uh, currently just coming up to 9 a.m. here in the UK. We are at Manchester, two, three left departures and we're gonna get straight on with the action. Watch this, Qatar's 350. QGP, stand by, stand by, stand by. Oh, she's beautiful, man. Now listen to these engines. We were at Airbus this week, folks. Visited their uh, wing facility, wing assembly plant in Broughton, in Wales. Yeah! Yes, XWB is still a bit smoky. Some of you guys may have seen that uh, go around footage that we shot um, of a Qatar 350 1000 at London Heathrow uh, doing a go around procedure, and wow! The soot that came out of those engines was just phenomenal. But look at this. Low cloud base this morning. Broken cloud, slightly broken cloud. Couple of layers to it. Cirrus at the high stuff and uh, some low cumulus. 
affecting us here, but still getting some good shots going out. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> Straight back with the action. Thomas Cook, A330. Good news to hear that uh, Thomas Cook, a uh, little bit of a, um, a bailout uh, investment. This week, um, shareholders not overly happy, uh, but um, at least that's uh, guaranteeing the, um, the holiday makers uh, their flights and their holidays. Here we go. so early that it even uh, my uh, iPad got in the way. The clamp got in the way. That was insane, mate. How high she went up and how quick she went up. That wing profile is a great, uh, a great shot of the A330 wing profile there before she disappears into clouds like. Okay, looks like a 737 possibly. Yep. Yeah. Uh, of course, some um, if you look in the distance, yonder distance, folks, you see all the um, Max aircraft, two is Max aircraft, parked up there, sitting there redundant. Who knows when they're going to be back in operation? We just don't know. Um, and we will have to wait and see. Okay, uh, let's go to, um, let's just check this and load it up. ASJE, that's Andy. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, Derek Cohen, Nick Engelman. Good morning, Adrian James. GP, have we got, um, have we got um, uh, free view comments on uh, on YouTube or are we just, uh, what have we got? Ian, Kayleigh Seymour, Matt52, Graham Hill. Good morning to you, Dane Grayson, Lee Smythe. So grab this one. Oh, I must be on the wrong page then. That's a normal takeoff run. That 3:30 went out so early. That wasn't a positioning flight, was it? Was that a, was that a um, that 3:30 that went out? Okay, TC. Is it a Glasgow positioning flight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why that Thomas Cook 3:30 went out so um, so early and went up like a scar rocket. Why not? <laughs> well, broken cloud, uh, decent conditions. It's warm, it's not, it's not that cold, but um, there's a bit of a chill in the air when I were a lad. It's gaming series. Okay, let's, uh, let's, um, Let's uh, um, I can do that. Come on, man. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I don't know, really. Here we go. Let's try and get his nose wheel going off the ground. 
Yeah! Yeah, Vortex over the wing from the splitter on the engine cows. Walk this way. No, this way. Quite a strong smell of kerosene there. Tell you what was interesting the other day, folks, when I flew out to um, uh, Munich. Oh. Select scratch and sniff, folks. Select scratch and sniff. Smell of vision. Activate smell of vision. <laughs> Play spotting ringway. Good morning, Johnny Burr. Hilary Todd. Um, VJ Verdi. Good morning to you. Plane spotting ringway. I am going to Barton today. Fantastic. Tamo 100. Good morning from the Netherlands. Jonathan Sims. Good morning from Sam Hersat. Hello there, my lovely. Um, Steve Hathaway. Um, yeah, there we go. Going to Glasgow. That 3:30. Here we go. 7:37. Right now. Another one. Through the gate. You see how they have to flatten out those engines, uh, specifically for the. Um, the 737, the CFM 56 uh, engine. See the flat bottom to them because of the clearance, Clarence. Yeah. It does, uh, it does make me wonder because obviously, you know, uh, uh, um, introducing the, um, the more uh, modern leap engine to the 737 uh, obviously meant that, that that was the cause of the problem for the stall issues or the, or the issues that they were uh, um, um, having with the aircraft uh, and continue to have, should I say. Why they didn't look at extending the undercarriage, I just don't know. I know it's a big, massive revision uh, to the design of the aircraft but uh, kind of also looks a little bit sloppy in terms of the fact that they maybe rushed the whole thing through. Anyway, um, good morning Hilary Todd from Sicily. Um, VJ, Pang Pang, hi, actor Sean Johnson, good morning to you Rob Cartman. Um, David Mitchell, going to give a big shout out to David Mitchell, whose son um, came and um, delivered a present to me, presented a present to me this morning. David, thank you so much. Um, some of you guys might remember, he took a picture of me uh, at the South Bank uh, some time ago. Uh, lovely fella, uh, one of the very, uh, one of the few guys up here, um, one of the many, should I say, not few, but one of the many uh, people who welcome us so much up here at Manchester and uh, gave me a framed photograph, so I really appreciate that, mate. Thank you, David, and to his son as well. Oh, I didn't catch his name, sorry. Say about that. Jet 2737. Girls, you made the rock and world go round. Yeah, great position, man. Good to switch it up every now and then, folks. These elevators still in the uh, climb position, obviously. So, in terms of the um, aircraft recognition that so many people have talked about. The tail on the 737 is something that's, um, you know, have a good look at the tail and the front end, the nose, um, is, uh, is one of the most recognisable aspects, features of the 737.
quick that gear goes up. Gonna be here for at least another two hours, at least another two hours with our channel members, folks. Um, yeah, it's got the, um, it's got the, uh, you can see that the, uh, the uh, leading edge of the tail has that sort of like a forward section of it, um, jutting forward. Uh, it doesn't sort of like have a smooth um, curve to it like a 730, uh, like a, uh, the uh, Airbus does. Uh, the 737 has a distinctive straight edge to it. Look, let me just show you quickly. Um, there, you can see, there, you've got that straight edge to it. Um, as opposed to the, f the, the smooth curve uh, that you find on an Airbus. And of course, the, um, the, the um, squared off engine uh, cowls on the 737 from a head-on uh, perspective is a uh, way to distinguish it. And of course, it's very low as well, low slung. 757 making its way up. See the rudder moving? Look at it. So the uh, 737 not uh, sporting the flapperons like the bigger, larger uh, winged uh, Boeings, 777, uh, 747, and uh, of course the um, 787 Dreamer. Look at that. Yeah, look at that beauty right there. Is it? Okay, good. No, we're not. Not really, but uh, we will switch over in a minute. Let's do some. Uh, let's do some shout outs. Virgin 747 and Cathay Pacific 350 push back from the gates. VJ Verdi, Tamo 100, 77 cockpit windows are also very different to the A320. Indeed, uh, good spot there, Tamo. Um, night bike. Uh, well, sorry. <laughs> wow, Pang Pang. Uh, tuning in from Thailand, uh, Vipin tuning in from India. Good morning to everybody. Uh, VJ, of course, giving us uh, information on that Virgin 747 on pushback. Uh, Brian Stubbles, good morning. Jerry and Jilly from a cloudy Essex. Seems to be cloudy across the southern UK at the moment. Davey R84. Um, surprise you're not at mass, um, as in. Uh, um, okay, little ATR coming out. Um, Lee Davis, no MD80 this week. Well, wouldn't that be a great thing? Uh, seeing that go out from this position, Keith Bryant, good morning to you. Boeing 7673, hi to you. Suzanne May, John Bailey, won't you come home? Simon Hardy, Pang Pang, uh, Rob Cartman, and uh, all of you guys tuning in right now um, on Big Jet TV, uh, YouTube, and uh, let's jump over to Facebook right now while this ATR just uh, sits and waits. Uh, what's our runtime, GP? Stephen Reed, good morning. Odette Stevens, Fifi, Jeff Hughes. Okay, we have uh, 12 minutes left of Freeview, folks. We have to be really strict because obviously we have our paying paying members, uh, very loyal paying members, um, just 4.99 a month. Um, uh, if you want to, if you want to look at uh, Big Jet TV membership, right down there on the left-hand side. Bigjet.tv is where you need to go. Find out all the information about becoming a channel member. Had a great, uh, had a great um, midweek show this week on Tuesday. Funny enough, um, with the guys in Munich with their fire department, and that was a fantastic show. Real incitement, insight into um, incitement, uh, real insight into um, the fire services um, at, at these airports and uh, lots of stuff that we weren't aware of, I certainly wasn't aware of, in terms of, um, you know, one thing in particular.
One thing in particular was uh, how they fire up the, um, the, um, the, the fire test rigs. Uh, the actual infrastructure itself is, um, is, is fired up using gas uh, from, a, um, from a remote gas station. Uh, as in, as in um, not fuel, not liquid fuel gas, but, but gas. Um, there she is, there she is. Listen, listen out for this 757. And you can actually hear 747's CF6s. CF6s powering the um, Virgin Atlantic 747. Here we go, 757 coming at you. VDA, good morning. Jeff Hughes, when you found a bag. Comes up, Jimmy. I'll be two elevens on this uh, seven fifty seven, I think, folks. Alison Thornett loved the show from Munich. Well, I edited it yesterday and uh, I didn't actually realise it was so good. <laughs> it is really, really good. Beautiful, beautiful. Little bit of aileron action going on there. Seems to be a straightforward, straight out departure. There's one for VDA and uh, Wendy. Lining up, Shirley Burge, good day. Katrina Ina, good day. Got him coming out, folks. So that might be our, uh, our curtain call on uh, Freeview. Not gonna get to see the 350, although we did see that Qatar 350 going out right at the front end of the show. Okay. Oh, it's been pushed back to gate then. It's been pushed back from remote to gate. What's the vortex over the wings? See, ever so slight micro adjustments on the ailerons. And uh, what appears to be sort of like uh, for stability I think maybe just to smooth up the um, the ride is the uh, sort of like wing like flapper on stroke ailerons good morning Stephen Reed love the 757 Fifi Sarah Nunshell Parish good morning to you hello there uh, John Hucklesby Trisha Guy oh there um, and everybody watching on Facebook good morning if you're watching right now also on um, Periscope, folks. Little platypus. CF thirty four engines powering that little Embraer. Yeah. Now I know um, more or less every pilot obviously uh, wants to be flying the big jets, but to be honest with you, even if you're flying a little Embraer like that, 
little single aisle, still a fantastic aircraft. Um, is it? Okay, so potentially, folks, this 747 uh, positioning back to London Gatwick after the ATC issues earlier on this week. Is this a uh, United landing? Looks very. Uh, Oh no, it looks uh, Lufthansa maybe, yeah, potentially. Yeah. Morning, how you doing fella? Not bad. Good man, good man. No, Lufthansa, sorry, completely wrong. So yes, potentially uh, a bit of flight going out. Yeah, like I said, even the um, even the, ah, oh, look at this. What a treat, what a treat. Now listen to this when she goes out, folks. Have a listen to this. Airbus absolutely made up. Interesting, he's just turned his um, nose light off. Nose steer light off. Um, oh, look at that 330 hanging in the air, is that? Now don't forget we got, um, We've got one of our members coming in this morning. That's not her, is it, Jilly? Emma Guy, Emma Guy. This is Emma Guy landing. Oh, hold that Swiss 220 for a second. You'll listen to those engines spool up, man. Those um, Leap 1As. Emma Guy returning back from Vegas. Such a quiet single aisle. Okay, folks, well, we never cut you off right in your prime. Uh, we're going to give you this 747 on free view, even if it runs over a little bit longer, because um, aviation fan is an aviation fan, and uh, we know how much everybody loves the 747. All these new seven, uh, A350s being delivered, coming on stream with Virgin Atlantic and, uh, and British Airways. Don't forget who they're replacing, folks. We're sacrificing these beautiful birds for the new free fitty. This is a positioning flight, don't forget, potentially. Back to Gatwick, so she'll go up pretty early. Very little fuel. No passengers, no luggage, no cargo. So this could go up in about 600 yards. Here we go.
Oh, it's going to Belfast, is it? It's going to Belfast, is it? Uh, okay, okay. Right, there we go. Uh, just a few shout outs. Zodiac, good day. Alan Rayford, uh, MH Aviation, uh, Roe Peleng, uh, loving the sounds, Club Fruit, um, Tamo 100, and all you guys uh, who have tuned in to Big Jet TV this morning. Um, thanks so much. Uh, that's your free view over, folks. Believe it or not, it's gone that quick. I know, and uh, it's always a great shame to have to uh, cut you guys off. We'd love to have you along uh, for the full show. And of course, if you want to stay for the full show, you're more than welcome. We'd love to see you here. You get a very warm welcome from our existing members. Um, Bigjet.tv is where you need to go, uh, where you can find out all the information about what we do here at Big Jet TV. And uh, we'd love to see you there. And of course, you can join us for all our exclusive Euro tours like the one that we did at Munich on Wednesday. Lots more coming up as well. Um, incidentally, had a great meeting with the guys at Airbus and hello to Aaron if you're watching this morning um, down there in, um, in Wales and uh, hashtag Welsh wings. Uh, we give you flight. Um, let's face it, if it wasn't for the Welsh, these Airbuses wouldn't be flying. So remember that, folks. Okay, guys, look after yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Drink responsibly, gamble responsibly, and um, always uh, give love to the animals, folks. Uh, look after the animals, and um, we will catch up with you uh, next week. We'll be back at Heathrow, and uh, if you're a new member, make sure you come in and say hello and tell us where you're from. We're getting a lot of new members who are coming in and saying hello, and it's great to see you new guys there. So uh, thanks so much again for tuning in. We'll catch up with you later. Jilly, go full throttle, and let's go channel members.